Hi everybody, it's Michael LeBlanc back on the camera, back in Las Vegas after grocery shop. Now we're here at Nax. We had lots of interesting people, right? We had the vice president from uh, Come and Go, which is a regional player, yeah. talking about insights. We had Pepsi on both on the food and beverage side, so that was uh, fantastic. One trend standing out for me th 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 today, certainly, is the emphasis on prepared foods. They are growing as a percentage of profitability and margin in the sector and retailers are understanding that they represent an opportunity to help improve profitability and frankly the customer experience as well. Hi, welcome to 2022 NAX. I'm Audrey Ingersoll, I'm the VP GM of our Sweet Treats portfolio for Conagra Brands. We couldn't be more excited to showcase our snacks powerhouse with everyone today. We have iconic brands from Slim Jim, David Seeds, as well as Angie's Boom Chicka Pop that we are incredibly excited to showcase with you. This is our second year in a row um, here at Nax. Uh, the show is massive. Um, a lot of great sessions. We're here to meet with merchants and partners alike and just to discuss the benefits to open banking and really the evolution open banking's on here in the U.S. The buzz has been great. When you're here at the booth today, it's uh, we got a lot of people standing around. It's really exciting. This is uh, really the next phase of growth for the company at Celsius. We're bringing new new consumers to the category, and it's one of the best shows, biggest show for Celsius in company history today. So this is my second year at Nax. The first year, I'm not going to lie, was very overwhelming. It's so big. There's so many people, so many different services. For us, it was a great experience. We're back again for our second year and looking forward to Atlanta. And some of the challenges facing C stores today are really just like everyone, um, short staffed. You have very busy uh, industry, a lot of people stopping, traveling, and what we need to do is help make sure that they have tools for those employees so that they can do more with less. And that's where our services come into play. Well, very happy to be here at the NAX Show 2022. We're having a great time meeting with prospects and customers. It's been a fantastic show, great traffic, and great topics to discuss. Some of the key topics that we're discussing with our friends and customers are self-service in the fuel and convenience space. The industry is evolving so much. We see electrification, we see self-service journeys. Different trends are coming in from other industry verticals into the fuel and convenience space as retailers are realizing the need for non-fuel retail. This idea that the convenience store could be more than a transactional thing. It could be a destination. And you really had some great thought leaders talking about, if we're gonna do that and be that, what is it gonna to take to get us there? Also got some appreciation for just the sheer number of vendors there are. I mean, obviously they're the big guys, but a lot of kind of niche specialty, artisanal, gourmet kind of players as well, which you know creates for a little bit more interesting product mix. Two of the big themes that we are seeing on the show floor and talking to our customers, either on the retail or manufacturing side, are around inflation and how to leverage data and analytics to better understand inflation and the impact to your customer and your ability to sell in the marketplace. And then the second thing that's gaining a lot of traction is fresh food assortment. Most of our retail partners are talking about how they're trying to grow out fresh food, competing for trips and baskets and share a wallet with customers that have a lot of choice in the marketplace and how do they provide healthier options. EV is a big uh, conversation today and looking at how we currently are really focused on innovating our fuel concept and our services, we're really putting that effort and technology into our EV as well. So we're trying to get a lot more feedback from our customers and being able to really be more functional around bringing those folks in for EV but also how do we get them out of their vehicles and bring them into our stores. <laughs> You know, if you ever come to this show, don't eat in advance before you come to this show. I've also been getting my picture with every mascot that I could possibly find. So there I am with the Cheetos, Cheeto person. The Energizer Bunny, classic of course. Oh, the Oreo, this was, you know, the Oreo was fantastic. So, uh, you know, I digress. And you'll notice I'm in none of those photos <laughs> because I have some self-respect still. Great to be here and everybody travel safe and see you in uh, New York for the NRF show.